Hello and welcome. I am Flat Cap Callum and this is day one of Royal Ascot's staking plan. All right, welcome to those of you who are regulars, welcome to those of you who are returning and also welcome to those of you who are brand new to my channel. What have I got for you today? Well, it is first day staking plan. So for those of you who watched the Cheltenham series, you will know what this is about. Uh, for those of you who are regular viewers on my channel, you might know some of what this is about. So let me explain. On a daily basis, I put out high risk staking plan videos. So I run a profitable channel, 17% in profit for horse racing specifically across all bets since January the 10th, um, not including Cheltenham Festival, which I'll come to. Um, for Cheltenham Festival, um, I run a separate series of what I call a £200 series, which is what I'm doing for Royal Ascot. For Cheltenham, four days, £50 a day. For Ascot, five days, £40 a day. That is the £200 series, so it's £40 a day. On the regular channel, I am predominantly betting with accumulators all the time. For this staking plan, it is medium risk. What that means for me is 25% of what I'm doing is accumulators, and 75% of it is on single bets. So this is a staking plan that if you were going to Royal Ascot, you could lift and shift. I've done it in a way that it's very easy if you wanted to double the stake, half the stake, and in places if you wanted a quarter the stake as well. So if you didn't want to you know, invest 200 pounds across the five days of Ascot, you could do a quarter and do it 50 pounds um, and, and roughly do it 12 pound 50 a day if that's what you wanted to do equally 25 pound a day so the staking is what i'm doing through the channel the channel um that i have set up has a skybet account attached to it so i put all of the bets on through skybet the reason i do skybet is because it is predominantly the best bookie for extra place races that will be absolutely true this week for quite a lot of the races and i'll, I'll kind of come to that detail so if you are looking for my regular video high risk staking plan purely accumulators this isn't it then come back again in the morning. If you're all in for Ascot, whether you want to play along, watch along, entirely up to you. The key things about this channel is every single statistic is recorded. So every day, so tomorrow when I come on, I'll be doing the profit and loss in the previous day. It's all tracked. I cannot make any guarantees about whether we will make profit. That is the aim, but I can't make guarantees. I am not Marty McFly. I never have driven a DeLorean, so I have no idea what the future looks like. All I'm doing is reading form and using statistical analysis, betting knowledge and mathematics to work out what I believe is a decent staking plan that gives us a, a bit of a chance. Medium staking plans, you are less likely to win big. You're more likely to get something back. With the high risk strategy I use on a daily basis, you are more likely to win big at some point but you are less likely on a daily basis to get something back. Hopefully that makes it clear. It will be the same for, same format each, each day. Singles on every race, but different amounts per race, depending on what the terms of the race are. And then when we get to the accumulators, it will be the same four accumulators each day. There'll be one lucky 15 bet, which I'll explain when we get to, one tricksy bet, which I'll explain when we get to, and one six-fold accumulator, which I'll explain when we get to. Hopefully that is clear enough. All right, um, anything else I need to tell you? It's free, so it is take it or leave it. Whether you want to follow the tips, ignore the tips, it is up to you. This is a completely free channel. I do not ask for any money for any of the tips, but these are real genuine bets I'm putting on through a Skybet account. Outside of running the videos on the channel, I am a bit of a punter and I do spend uh, spend some of my time betting on horses. So the stakes I'm putting in here are for the channel statistics. They are not representative of what I might actually do outside of the channel. Okay, I think that's kind of house rules. I'm going to get into it and uh, and we'll see if, I, if I've missed anything. We'll come back to it. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. All right, we are starting off with... The most unsatisfactory race of the day, possibly even the week. So we are super, super small, single stake on race one. It's not the best betting race in the world. So you've got a really, really short price of odds on favourite in Baid, who looks pretty rock solid. So we're just going to have a little single on the second favourite. 
Um, so as far as this one goes, this is incredibly low, incredibly boring. 50p each way single on real world. Important thing to flag to you. All of the prices I've written here are current sky bet prices. But all of the what I will do for every single bet on these videos is I will take the starting price. So when I'm calculating profit and loss, I'll take the starting price. These prices aren't going to be the prices at the end and you will find better prices. As a general rule, it's worth looking at Bet365 first. They don't always have the best place terms, but at the moment, price-wise, they're pretty decent um, across the board. So I will place all of these bets for the channel with starting price. So whether the price is bigger or smaller, it's starting price. If you can find a bookmaker who can do your best price guaranteed, which Skybet won't do, that is the best place um, to put some of these on, particularly the single bets, is to do the best price guaranteed to ensure you've got the best one. But what I will do on each race is tell you about which is the best place in terms of terms as well. So, standard terms for me on here with Skybet. Okay, bet one, the Queen Anne, real world, 7 to 1, 50p each way single. That's it. Okay, then we're going to get a little bit more interesting. The 305, the Coventry Stakes. So I've gone three against the field here. Um, it's really, really tricky. The f first day, there's only one two-year-old race. It's really hard to call two-year-old races because you just don't know how much level of improvement they've got or for the one or two times most of them have run, how good that really was as a performance. So with this one, I've gone Brad's well as my number one pick, 13 to two, pound fifty win. We've then got Harry Time, 22 to one, one pound each way and Remarkable Force, 25 to 1, one pound each way. So that's 550 total on the singles on the commentary. And at the bottom there, Skybet is the best place to put on these bets in terms of place terms. Six places. Bet 365, Paddy Power, and 888 are the next best. They are all five places. Most other bookies are four. The standard terms for this race are only three places. So if you are going to Royal Ascot, you need to watch out and see because if you are only getting three places for this race, which would be standard terms for for a stakes race, um, it's much, much better to go and put, put the bet on with someone where you can find the extra places because you are losing going to lose out massively on, on some level of margin. So that is the Coventry Stakes. All right, next up, we've got the King Stand, which is the 340. Again, I'm going three against the field. Um, Man of Promise, 11 to 1. One pound each way. I think some of the some of the kind of the upstarts from abroad um, from Australia and America got great looking form, but I'd much rather go for the value in this race. So Man of Promise, one pound each way, um, unproven at really at the distance, but it's been running cracking in Maidan. And then I'm going to go with Stable Mate as well, Lazuli, twenty two to one, one pound each way, and a little go on Tis Marvelous at forty to one, fifty p each way. So it's five pound on that one. Skybet are five on that race. Everybody else pretty much is four places. Standard terms, same as the commentary, three places. So make sure you're at least getting four, but the best place for the bets on this race is Skybet. Okay, 420. Uh, St. James's Palace Stakes. I've got two against the field here. Going to take on the favourite for the single. Uh, My Prospero, 9-2. to It's a £1.50 win. And then we're having a little go on Berkshire Shadow at 33 to 1, 50p each way. So £2.50 is the bet for that. Best place to put these on is Bet365. They're currently the only bookie paying four places. Everybody else is standard terms, three places. So singles, best place to go right now, Bet365. Okay, then we're on the next race, the five o'clock, the Ascot Stakes. This is the, the biggest field handicap, really. It's the best handicap for the day. Um, we're going four against the field. Proshema, 11 to 1, one pound each way. Make My Day, uh, 14 to 1, one pound each way. Rashawn, uh, 11 to 1, one pound each way. And Who Dares Wins, 28 to 1, 50p each way. I have written them in my, my ranking order as well. So they're not written in an odds order, they're written in ranking order of, of how much I prefer them. And what I'd always say in the daily videos is, I'm not always picking horses that I think are going to win, which sounds ridiculous. I'm trying to find the horse that I think is the best price in the market for value. So chance of winning versus odds. And you do the equation, and you go, that looks like to me the best value horse. 
Best place to put this bet on, Skybet, seven places. Next best, Bet365, Paddy Power, 888 are all six places. Most bookies are five. Standard terms for this race would be four places if you're betting on the course. Then we've got the penultimate race. We've got the Wolverton Stakes. Two against the field here. Fox's Tails, 17 to 2, one pound each way. And then Certain Lad, 20 to 1, one pound each way. Four pound is our bet on this. Best place at the moment, Sky Bet and both and both uh, Bet365 are five places. Everybody else is four. Standard terms is three. So putting these on, Sky Bet, Bet365, US places. And then finally, the 610, the Copper Horse Stakes. I found this one quite a hard one to, to read. So I'm spreading the stake across four bigger prices here. So we've got All Right Sunshine, 25 to 1, 75p each way. Platinum card, 18 to 1, 75p each way. Then Not So Sleepy, 20 to 1, 50p each way. And Island Brave, 22 to 1, 50p each way. Five pound is the bet. At the moment, all major bookmakers are five places on this race. Standard terms would be four, but all bookies are five um, at the moment. On the course, it would be four. So wherever you can get the best price for best price guaranteed is best for that race. OK, that is our singles. I, I will whiz through these as I normally would do. If there are any questions about individual choices and selections, feel free to put it in the comments. I'm really happy to answer and give you much further explanation about how I've come to each one. But in, in the kind of desire of not wanting this video to be hours, uh, I'm, I'm breezing through it. OK, day one Trixie bet. This is our Trixie. So two of these aren't in the single bets, but they're in the Trixie bet. Um, so this is about vary, varying our chances here. So... 305, we're going to go with Bradswell, 13 to 2. The 340, Nature Strip, 2 to 1. And the 420, Cororebus, 8 to 11. So a very short price favourite. It's a 60p win Trixie. So I've broken that down to explain what that is when we say Trixie. That's doubles, so three doubles. So all combinations. So Bradswell and Nature Strip is one double. Bradswell and Cororebus is two doubles. Nature Strip and Caribus is the third double. Three 60p doubles and then one 60p treble. That is £2.40 your bet. If you are writing that on a, a physical betting slip, um, you literally can write the three horses with, with the times of the race and the bet and that's it. And then in the end you write £2.40. That's as much as you need to do. But any questions, shove it in the comments. That's today's Trixie. And this is today's lucky 15 bet for the day. So this is my kind of normal bet of choice on the channel for what I would usually do. So we've got the 340 Man of Promise 11s, 5 o'clock Proshema 11s, 535 Fox's Tail 17 to 2, and the 610 All Right Sunshine 25 to 1. It's a 20 pence each way lucky 15. So that is four times 20p each way singles, six times 20p each way doubles, four times 20p each way trebles, and one times 20p each way fourfold. It adds up to six pound. If you're writing it on a betting slip, you can literally write 20p each way lucky 15. If you're doing it online, if you search in the multiples options, you will find the option for lucky 15 and you just write 0 0.20, so decimal, and then write each way. That is your six pound bet. That's our lucky 15 bet. With the Cheltenham series, we hit uh, we had two two out of four profitable lucky fifteens and two out of four profitable win trixies. Um, so one of the trixies did we did get all three legs, and one of the lucky fifteens we had two really nice price winners and a place. Um, so so we're both profitable types of bets for for when we did them at Cheltenham. Um, and finally, this was the one uh, day three of Cheltenham. Uh, quite a lot of people kind of got excited about these bets. So on day three of Cheltenham. Um, of the first five legs on the, this sort of bet, we had four winners and a non-runner, and it all went down to the last leg, and it was worth thousands from a very, very small actual value bet. Um, these can go like that, but it is very, very, very unlikely. The thing here is you need all of these legs to either win or place. So if they all win, we will be delighted and it will make our year. If they all place, that will already give us a decent week that would that would probably make us almost profitable for the week if we could get all of these in the frame so that's the kind of type of bet this is um so we need all to place or all to win one leg goes out the bet goes out 
So we're going 2.30 uh, Real World, the 3.05 Bradswell again, 3.40 Man of Promise, 4.20 My Prospero, 5 o'clock uh, Juan Elcano, that's not mentioned previously on the on the bets, 5.35 Proshema. And it's an 80 pence each way, six-fold or accumulator. So an accumulator is, is all of them together. Um, so when, if you put that all on a bet slip, you could write it as a six-fold. If you do it online, it will probably give you the option for just one accumulator. So it's 80 pence each way, £1.60 your bet. All right. I can't promise uh, that we're going to make any profit. Clearly, that is the aim. So for Cheltenham, um, we were 200 on and we were 323 back. We made 61% profit. Day one, we made a bit of profit. Day two, we struggled, uh, but we did make a bit of profit in the end. Day three was a cracker at Cheltenham. Day four was, wasn't so good. So we won three out of four days. If we could win three out of four days, I would be absolutely delighted. The aim here is to win by the end of the week. Um, so there are five days to play with here um, and you only need to technically win on one day and win well to come up ahead all week. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to play along. Um, I can't guarantee any return. So, you know, if you want to invest for the full week, £200, you're not paying it to me. <laughs> Clearly, you're paying it to a bookmaker. Um, but be prepared. That that's what that's the most you might lose. So think about what's the most you're happy to lose and decide on that and then divide it by five is the way to do it. So for the channel, I'm losing a maximum of £200 on this uh, series for Royal Ascot. All right, I'm leaving it there. Uh, I hope you are all doing brilliantly well after that and you're still with me and I haven't made it too complicated or too easy, um, but I'm trying to trying to do things for everyone here. Um, I will see you in the morning if you want the normal standard video with high risk accumulators, which will include the lucky 15 that I've used on this video plus others. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow evening for Cheltenham day two. The aim is to try and get these videos out between nine and ten. Today's is is a little bit a little bit after that, but that's the aim. All right, enjoy Ascot day one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much. Cheerio.